Okay, today we're uh, going to cut the tips to force the plant to uh, put more of its strength back into the thing and stop growing outward. We're also going to eliminate a handful of the pumpkins that are just in the wrong spots. Unfortunately, you can see uh, all three of the pumpkins we did have have all been stolen, but the plant is healing up nicely where the stolen pumpkin was cut. There were three stolen pumpkins. Uh, this one here is going to be okay. It's at the right angle. We have uh, one growing here that's growing at the wrong angle. So although it's a good bud set, I'm going to cut that off. This one here. I'm going to leave that one for now. It's got good position. I don't like this one at the end here in that little crotch there, so we're going to nip him out of there very carefully. Again, always do this on a dry day. Stay away from damp days. That's how you get the plant infected. You're going to see a lot of these fried leaves like this. They don't really hurt anything. If you don't like it, you can just cut them out and the plant will reseal that hole. Uh, we don't have any good pumpkins coming on right yet. I'm going to tip even the uh, tired looking tips on the vines. And there's way too many flowers in this area. And they're too close to the base stalk. So I'm taking them all out. The base of the plant is right here. And this guy's growing in a circle. This is the end of the vine. I'll just cut that off. So I send a signal. The plant uses auxins to communicate through chemicals. And once it, it loses its tip, like this is the old one we cut, and it's starting to like sucker back out here. So that's doing exactly what we want it to do. This plant is looking a little withered up to this point. That's where the stolen pumpkin was. You can see it sealed it off, and uh, it's starting to like repair itself. And the tip of the plant is growing green now. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now. This one here, isn't good until it gets back here, so I'm going to actually take that one off. Go right there, I'm taking the dead part off. And that'll give it a little, a little bit of instruction on what to do. And actually I can do that over here with this one too. Yeah, this one here doesn't look good to here, so we'll cut that one off too. And uh, this pumpkin here, we're going to tip that lose that little pumpkin set there. This one here is okay. A lot of ants here. We'll just cut that. This one here, the tip can go. No flowers to edit. This one here is going to be probably a huge pumpkin at some point. We'll cut that tip off. And you always are looking for flowers that are uh, that's a good flower there, this one isn't. Got the wrong angle. So what I'm gonna do is cut that pumpkin right out. We're gonna go with this one. And then over here, got a pretty good set in there. That's not a bad angle. That's a good location from the back of the plant forward. So we're gonna leave that one. We're gonna take these last two tips out. Actually, there's a good this is, a good, this is probably going to be a good pumpkin, but I've already got that pumpkin that I've chosen down there. So I'm going to take this and the tip off. And always use a clean blade and always do it on a dry day. This one here, that's got a good pumpkin there. So we're going to just tip it off here so it'll start to focus its energy back there. And that's it for today.